Texas Armoring Corporation transforms vehicles into rolling fortresses, primarily for customers outside the United States. Just recently, since the attacks, we've received a lot of uh, requests about uh, armor that they can use in their homes or in their in their offices. He says there is a house in town with an armored room inside and that many offices here have the nearly two inch thick glass. We've sold a lot to construction companies that have installed it uh, armor in buildings. It can stop an AK-47 bullet from penetrating or the effects of a blast. In case uh, uh, car bombs are likely uh, with terrorist activity that's what they're afraid of. Uh, things exploding. Uh, uh, so they're looking to some way to protect against uh, shrapnel or fragmentation. Although he says most folks who inquire are afraid of the cost, a piece of glass this size is about a thousand dollars. And with most of the safety concerns being focused on the airline industry recently, the question is, should cockpit doors be made out of armored material? Kimball says they have made a proposal to the airline industry for bulletproof cockpit doors. However, they, you know, they have to decide if they just want to uh, make the cabin or the pilot's door more secure or if they do want to armor it. Again, cost may help in that decision. He says a door would be about ten to $15,000. Mike Osterhage, KSAT 12 News.